Hello, everyone. Welcome back to the stream. Finally, finally, after what about two weeks worth of hiatus on the Tearless Tuesday, thanks to what was it? What was the natural disaster or problem we had? Was it? I don't know. But the power went out. Basically, we were on the loading screen last week, and I was like, Jordan, are you ready? Jordan was like, Yes. I went to hit change scene, and it took me the fuck out. Uh, <laughs> and Jordan's been sitting here on this call for the last week, just with bated breath, waiting for me to come back online. Here I am, uh, Jordan. How you doing, my man? I'm I'm doing great. Yeah, I've been I've been sitting here staring at you in front of that bagel background since last week. Uh, I did take a, a great a great screenshot of you potentially in front of the bagel background, clearly reacting to like the thunder or lightning or whatever was going on. Um, and uh, that's that's for the like the seventy five dollar patrons. So yeah. get to see that picture. Yeah, that was a special picture. But no, I, that did encompass all my feelings because I said, "Are you ready?" And then the light behind the screen flickered, so I looked up at it, and then the power went out. So mm -hmm. it was literally perfect timing, or worse timing, potentially. Yeah, this is this is the, the Puya loses power phase. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so we're not going to bury any leads here. You know what it's been. You know what the tier list was going to be from last week because, you know, there was a title and everything. You knew Jordan was going to be here. We're here to talk bagels. Now... This is important to the two of us for different reasons. I'm going to give the floor to you first, Jordan. Uh, why are bagels so important to you? Why did you want to come here and talk about bagels today? So I wanted to talk about bagels. First of all, I live and grew up in the state of New York, which if you've ever spoken to a New Yorker, there's, there's two foods that we're insufferable about. It's our pizza and it's our bagels. You guys have already spoken about pizza. Uh, so I decided that I wanted to come on and talk about bagels. I, I see bagels as the perfect breakfast without spoiling which type of bagels are my favorite because obviously we're going to get into all that. To me, if you put a bagel with cream cheese, with some lox that smoked salmon, for those of you who don't know, some onions, tomato, that's the perfect breakfast. So I am, I've, I've, I've always been a big breakfast guy in general, but this is, this is where if you, put, if you put that in front of me, I'm going to be a very, very happy guy for the whole day. And as for me, um, I do not have as beautiful of a past with bagels. I didn't, I don't, if you know me, you know I don't really rate them. I'm not the biggest fan, but I did work at a bagel shop for about, what, six years? Right up until I moved. So I know a thing or two about bagels. I've dabbled. I've had every type of combination you can think of. I've made my own concoctions. I've had the, uh, the lox, cream cheese, tomato, onion, a little bit of capers if you're nasty. Mm, I've capers. done it all. I've done it all. I've had it with smoked meat. It's a good time. So we're going to talk about these, and we're going to get there um, and figure out which one's the best, which one's no good. There is, I want to say, 19 options on the table. So there's not, as you know, usually with a lot of these um, tier lists, we end up having like 25, 30 of them. With bagels, there was like an easy two dozen we could have picked. And then ultimately we picked some that were similar. We kind of picked one of them. And we're here. So, Jordan, the way this works, man, is you're the guest. You get to nominate the first one. And okay. you get to pick which one you want to talk about first. And we go from there. Okay. So, I think the first bagel that I'm going to nominate is the bagel on this list that I know least about. And I have been waiting on bated breath for a week to try to talk to you about this to find out what this even is. What is the, the Muselix bagel? Right, so the Muselix bagel, let me just make sure I know which photo it is so that I can pull it up respectively. There we go, it's over there. So the Muselix bagel is a bagel that was offered at my workplace, okay? So, yes. wait, so wait, the chat is asking, can we get a zoom in on the bagel pics before we start rating? Uh, that would be a good idea, um, but I do not think I have the bigger version of these pictures online. I have them on my computer. Um, let's see, I can figure this out, right? I can figure this out. Um, but while I'm doing that, I can explain to you. A Muselix bagel is... I'm just going to load these up and search for them. Old school styles. Um, a Muselix bagel, to answer your question, Jordan, without sounding like I'm trying to buy time, is a multigrain bagel. So it's kind of similar to the oats um, and the one that you had brought up. So it's actually mm -hmm. this one over here. Um, and oh, it's taking me directly to my workplace's picture because, uh, of course, they're the ones who have it. But... It is this concoction over here. This guy over here. I'll zoom it out a little bit. But there you go. That's the that's the um, Muselix bagel. So it's basically 
multi-grain. It's got nine types of grain on it, I believe. It's a good breakfast uh, for a good breakfast. It's a good healthy option. I know a lot of people at work used to throw it on with some turkey, go with the turkey with the muslix. Um, the one part of it I have not shared with you is that the one at my work had raisins in it and that it was somewhat appealing until then. It's a no-no for me. But I will say working at a bagel place, I had the amazing advantage of getting the scent of all of them as they were made fresh and the muslix scent was up there like almost god tier of incredible when it was be freshly made and it was in the oven ultimately though I'm not a big fan of this what are you thinking on this one okay so th this is a bagel i mean look if i'm ever like at so i'll tell you one of one of the times where, when i like to eat bagels i mean every morning is, is when i like to eat bagels but one of the main times that i personally eat bagels is after a uh, a jewish holiday called yom kippur which is a whole day where we can't eat okay. at night we do get to eat dinner and it's uh, it's always i think it's like a pretty typical tradition is that you kind of break the fast with breakfast food mm -hmm. and i go to my aunt's there's a whole tray of bagels and if if this were the only option, like I would eat it, I'd probably be fine with it. I'm never choosing this bagel. It's kind of like an oat brand bagel. I've seen that in a lot of bagel places in, in New York. And I've literally never ordered it from a bagel shop because there's so many other choices. So I would say it's a bagel that I could see it smelling good, especially when maybe if you toast it a little bit and the oats get a little bit toasty, oh, I could yeah. see it being, you know, it, it's like a nice, nice bagel is like someone gives it to you and they don't know what you like, mm -hmm. but it's definitely not going up. Uh, near the top of my list. No, it definitely does not for me either. And here's the thing. So I got to I gotta make sure because the chat is with me. Um, we're not really raisin fans here. Let's say no. it didn't have raisins. Does that change where this ends up going for you? Or is it well, still kind of eh? If it had raisins, I wouldn't even put it on the list. It would just be in the trash. Good. Because I'm also very anti-raisin. Uh, and that, I hope that doesn't uh, spoil. Uh, it, does, it does spoil one of the, uh, so, the other yeah. bagels that's on the list. Um, <laughs> let's pretend there's no yeah. raisins on no, it so no that we raisins. don't just throw it out. Yeah, no, okay, let's no pretend it's raisins. A multi -grain. I'm going to say it's a respectable bagel. I mean, look, it's a little it's a little bit healthier because it is whole wheat. I think when it comes, you know, there's this and we also, I believe, have uh, whole wheat on the list. Is that correct? Rita? Yes, yes, we do. We do. Yeah, so I think it gives a little bit more texture. Um, it, it gives it, a, you know, there's a little bit more to the bagel than just having like a plain whole wheat bagel. So I, I don't hate it, but I'm never gonna pick it out of a, okay. of a bunch. So I forgot to do what we, what's a tradition here on the channel where we talk about the tier names. Cause obviously I, I name all the tiers, I change them up. So the bottom tier as usual is called Binum cause that's a staple here. We just bin them, that's just straight in the trash. We don't even mess with it. Get it out of here. Then fourth place tier is the I'm not hungry. Basically to me, the I'm not hungry is if I see it and I'm hesitant to eat it, I'm not hungry. I don't really need this. And that's coming from someone who's... You're not going to hear this, Jordan, because I don't think you have the stream audio on. But BeanCon just donated $5 and hit me with the uh, Mambo number no. 5 sound. I appreciate that. Thank you. Um, and said thank you for zooming in on the bagels. No problem at all. Um, so then number three, Jordan, is eh. It's just round dough. Um, this is Ali's favorite tier name when it's just eh. And yeah, it's just round dough. It doesn't matter. It's just whatever. So then second one is I won't, it won't stand alone, but it's a good time. So obviously with bagels, and I think you'll agree with me here, when they're fresh, when they're hot, they're delicious, mm -hmm. and you can easily have it on its own, right? Yeah, So for sure. that is something that I rate. But there are going to be bagels on here, which is like, they're amazing, but can I have them alone? No, then it kind of is like a bit, it needs a bit of a handicap. Then it's not going to be my top tier. And of course, the last one is that's bagel. As so, in, I like, I love you bagel. Exactly. That's bay. That's bay. Cool. This might, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, also get some less than twos in the chat for bean con while we're at it before I move on and talk about where this is going. Jordan Muselix, yeah. where does it go for you? Okay, so as I said before, I'm not throwing it in the trash. If it were given to me and it was the only option and I hadn't had breakfast yet, like I'd be happy, I'd be probably happy with this because I get I get a little hangry. So, but I can't even put it in, it's just round up. Because again, I think there are, I love, again, bagels are one of my favorite foods. Uh, I eat them all the time for breakfast leading until today. And I'll, and I'll say this, like 
I get bagels from the bagel store. I freeze them because if you don't, I mean, but not, not the first day I get it. Like, I mean, I freeze them the first day I get them. The first like one or two I have fresh. The rest go in the freezer. So they at least maintain a little bit of freshness because if you just leave them out or put them in the fridge, they're not going to be that good after yeah. the first day. And I will say that I had 13 bagels, ba- Baker's dozen. They ordered a dozen. They gave me 13. Nice. Uh, love it. Um, last 13 days up until today, I had a bagel every single day. So oh I love a, I love a bagel. I'm kind of obsessed. Um, but I'm going to put this in the I'm not hungry category because unless I was really hungry, I'm not wasting my time with this bagel. I agree. 100% we're on the same page. To quickly give a pro tip to anyone for bagel consumption, definitely for like the first day, you're good to have them whenever. You can leave them out. You're fine. After the first day, I would say put them in the fridge overnight if you're too tired, but for sure by the next morning, slice them all up, put them in the freezer. Now mm-hmm. they've sliced up, they're fine. You just pop them in the toaster and boom, you have bagels ready to go whenever. Can that I is- give you another another pro tip for you? It. Yeah. So this was, uh, th- this was, uh, is from, from my grandma, uh, gra- grandma Rita or grandma lucky, however you, uh, <laughs> whatever you decide to call her. <laughs> that's an inside joke. Yes. Uh, so if you have a bagel that's been sitting overnight, you, you take it, it kind of like, it's not, it's not stale yet, but it's not, it's not completely fresh either. You slice the bagel open, you take a coffee mug, you put the coffee mug in the microwave, you put the bagel on top, 30 seconds, it steams the bagel, makes it soft again. Oh, Okay, okay. Look at look at us giving people tips on how to do this, Jordan. They, we don't like look. We're just we're changing lives today with this one. I didn't think it was possible. I really didn't. Yeah. A- again, I th- I think the the best way to eat a bagel right out of the bagel store. There was even this place uh, called uh, Rock- Rockland Bakery close to where I uh, I grew up, and you could go into the back. They had a big ba- bagel con- conveyor belt. It was like heaven. You used to go take a bagel, pay for it, eat it right off the thing. It was hot. You didn't even need butter or cream cheese. I mean, I still would have put butter on cream or cream cheese, but like I would eat it in the car. So I, my parents didn't want me to get everything messed up. So uh, <laughs> that's that's really the way to, the way to go. But um, if if you do forget to put them in the freezer, which I I I don't even think like the second I get home from the bagel place, all the ones that I'm not eating that day, freezer. But if I forget to do that, I use Grandma Rita's trick. Yeah, no, that's smart. That's very smart. I think. Um, so I was going to ask you. So I'm assuming you have a big, you have a dedicated store that you go to, like that's your bagel place, right? I, I have, so I have two. When I, I have a place in Manhattan, which I, I live in the Bronx, so like it's I'm not in Manhattan, but when I go down to Manhattan, uh, Lower East Side, I go to this place called Kosar's Bialis. I don't know why the place is called Kosar's Bialis. I mean, Bialis are like bagel adjacent but they're i think they're probably more known for their bagels than they are for their bialis uh it's been there forever kind of like a staple in the neighborhood great place but in uh my second favorite or actually arguably my favorite bagel place is in westchester at a place called uh, bagels on hudson in the town of croton like a suburb of, of new york city um they have they're a little soft they're a little sweet not too sweet it's not you know it's not like you're eating a, a dessert but there's a little bit of sweetness to the dough and every time i go there per- perfect bagels every single time so um that's that's my go-to place it's kind of close to where my where my mom lives i'll pick them up when i'm there bring them back to my to my apartment unfortunately where i live in the bronx you'd be surprised i don't like big bagel places in, in my neighborhood very surprising hmm strange yeah like um and i'm assuming i don't know how many of these places are 24 hours but the one i worked at was 24 hours open yeah. and always operating all the time um the place the places that i mentioned are, are not 24 hours okay okay so let's go to the next one it's only appropriate that we start moving forward and go into the next one i want to bring up one that i i'm feeling a little bit it's been a hot day here i've been sitting next to this fan and if i move even an inch this way that way it's too hot in here so i want to complain um and not to give it away that what i'm about to do but Let's go talk about the pumpkin spice bagel. Let's talk about the pumpkin bagel. So I'll pass it on to you because you're the guest. What is what are your thoughts on this uh, pumpkin spice phenomenon? And so I think I, I think so let's talk about pumpkin spice in general. First okay. Because I think that pumpkin spice, it's it's a divisive flavor. I do like pumpkin flavor. I like pumpkin pie. I'm a little basic. I like the pumpkin spice latte. I'm a fan. I think it's good. Uh, for a bagel, I think I only had a pumpkin spice bagel once in my life. Mm-hmm. I believe I put a little cream cheese on it. And I think the best part was the cream cheese. <laughs> so, I mean, I, it just, to me, it's not bad. It's, it doesn't, it doesn't have a terrible flavor. It was freshly baked. So it had that, that nice texture, that nice smell. Um, but it's not what I wanted a bagel. I 
see it more for a muffin. Even I've had pumpkin donuts, which are actually pretty good. Um, for a bagel, though, you want a little bit more of a savory breakfast. I just don't love the, the pumpkin with the like breadiness of the bagel. It's it's fine. It's it's not horrible. But again, it's not a bagel that I would choose if I had a choice. Okay. Well, I need to get real close to the to the audience here. So let me do this. Let me zoom all the way in. Pumpkin is overrated nonsense. It went through a glow up, and for whatever reason, everything pumpkin spice is like October's just pumpkin now. There's nothing else. And it used to be pumpkin for the Halloween hype. Then it became pumpkin spice lattes, pumpkin okay. spice uh, bagels, huh? pumpkin Who spice thought? muffins, pumpkin everything. And it's, I'm not about that life, fam. It really isn't great to me. I don't like it. Um, I think the best use a pumpkin can have is a jack o' lantern, and carving the pumpkin looks like it could be fun. But, and like, the taste isn't for me. I do recognize that it's a taste people like, that's fine. But we need to stop putting things in other things and making them a thing. Like, I don't need a pumpkin spice bagel. I don't. Like, there are other sweet bagels that are there to satisfy that sweet tooth, and there are better choices. My work did this and did like a pumpkin-based cream cheese, and to that I say, what are you doing? Why? Who asked for this? Why? Like, just because it's in season doesn't mean we need to shove it in there and make it a thing. We don't. We just don't. So Let me say this. Let me say this for you. Yes. With the, pump, the pumpkin cream cheese. That almost grosses me out. I know I said that my favorite part of the pumpkin bagel was the cream cheese that I put on it. I'm not a fan of, like, fruits or vegetables and cream cheese. Like, I don't like veggie cream cheese. And it's the same idea of, like, putting pumpkin in kind of like a... Uh, I, I don't know, a, sp a spreadable cheese, it just tur turns me off to the whole thing. So if I'm going to have one of them, like a plain bagel with pumpkin cream cheese or a pumpkin bagel with regular cream cheese, I'd rather have the pumpkin bagel with regular cream cheese. But uh, still, still, again, not not my uh, definitely not my choice if I'm going to the bagel store. Yeah, no, I, I think the plain cream cheese will at least mask and suppress some of that pumpkinness, um, personally. But for me, this is a this is a binum. If that if it wasn't clear where I'm going, because if I want something sweet, there are sweet bagels available. If I want a bagel sandwich, I'm not going to use a pumpkin bagel for literally anything. It is almost a gimmicky bagel. It's like if I'm getting this, it's in the month of October and it's no other month. And I'm not even getting it. I'm just selling it because people loved it for whatever reason. We did um, themed bagels three times a year. And it was uh, um, Halloween. So October we did the um, – actually four times a year. So for Halloween we did the pumpkin spice. And then we had a candy cane bagel, which is like peppermint flavor in December for Christmas. Did not like that either. Um, and then we had a, um, for St. Patrick's Day, we had a green bagel that was plain, just green coloring. And then we had a maple flavored one for Canada Day, which that one slapped and it was red and that was cool. I was going to say I've never had a, ma a maple bagel, but it sort of reminds me a little bit of like Montreal style bagels. Like, uh, was that on the list or no? Do we have Montreal on the list? Uh, so we, you had Montreal in there and I removed it. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I, we're, we'll talk about it. We'll find out because we'll, we'll like stop at some point to talk about what you meant by that. Because in my head, I'm like, well, there's New York style bagels, there's Montreal mm -hmm. style, but you had Montreal bagels. Like, I don't know if that's like a flavoring or not. So I just skipped mm -hmm. it. Um, I, I, I almost saw it as like, you know, they, they put honey in Montreal bagels. So it's almost like, right. it almost is like a different flavor, not just a different, not, it's not just what the bagel looks yeah. like. It's a different different what, flavor in the bread. It's funny and I, because, I almost think, yeah, all of these bagels, Jordan, like we're going to talk, yeah. we, we've had both, we've both had the same bagels, but all of mine were dipped in honey water. So like boiled in honey mm -hmm. water. So I've, de I've got all of them with honey. So it, yeah. So uh, I, and I could see why then, I mean, you, you, I see, you seem to be lower on pumpkin in general than I am. Oh, yeah. And I could see like pumpkin honey bagel like that that sounds like it would be a binum to me i would put it under i'm not hungry actually a little bit lower than the uh the muselix so you would um, end up putting it right underneath muselix i would end up putting it on binum is what you're saying yeah for sure all right so then i think i feel strongly enough that i want to pull it away from you and put it in binum for now I'm I'm okay with that. Okay. Like I'm I don't hate it, especially now that I see you're coming from a a, a Montreal inspired frame of mind where that like a, a pumpkin and honey. I like both of those flavors on their on their own, but together, not gonna not gonna eat that. I see. Okay. Um. So let's see. So then you're next. I just want to quickly look at the chat. Oh, and by the way, just uh, for the for the uh, the Montreal, what I was saying about the Montreal style bagel, mm. I almost see it as similar. I mean, or, or sorry, the honey the. Uh, the maple bagel that you were talking about. I've never had that. I've never heard of it. 
Um, but I would like to try that. That sounds good because it's it's almost like, uh, you know, you wake up, maybe you're not in the mood for like pancakes and syrup, but it's almost like you're getting your bagel, a little syrup mm -hmm. where I, as long as it's not overly sweet and too overpowering, I can see it being a nice breakfast. Yeah. So um, some butter, butter, not cream cheese. Style. I think I go <laughs> butter on that. To explain to the chat what the Montreal style is. So they roll the dough, they put it in the mixer, they get the dough out, they roll it up, they get it ready, they toss it into... Um, it's a kettle of honey water. So they boil it in there and then they transfer it to the oven and then from the oven it gets tossed into the chute. So that's the that's the one step that I believe Montreal style has is that honey water, the mm -hmm. use of honey. That's where that comes from. And they're great. I mean, I've been to, I've been to Montreal three times. Twelve, well, one, one time was only at the airport, so twice, really twice. Both times had Montreal style bagels. Went to uh, I forgot what the bagel place was was called, uh, but it, it's like by Mont Royal, like the foot of Mont Royal. Mm. And we uh, we got some bagels, sat in the park, got some some cream cheese and lox, had Montreal style bagels, and they were fantastic. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm partial to the New York style bagel. It's just what I grew up with. It's what I'm used to. Um, but I mean, when I had it on my list, even though obviously it's not a topping, so it doesn't really fit the list. Mm -hmm. um, when I did have it on my list, it was like in the top third for me. Yeah, I look forward to trying the New York style because I've not yet been able to, obviously. But that time will come soon. Um, so Jordan, yeah. next up, it's you. Okay, I, I think I'm going to nominate the poppy seed bagel. Okay, okay. I feel like this is a more classic pick. So uh, go ahead, tell us what you think about the poppy seed bagel while I pull it up for the chat so that there's an image to follow. So I would say that, first of all, poppy, sort of a subtle flavor, but I think it's a, it's a nice flavor. It's, you know, it's one of those toppings that's on the everything bagel. So it's sort of, uh, you know, if, if, you re if that's your favorite, you know, that's your favorite part of the everything bagel, I could see it being for you. Downside, gets in your teeth it's all over uh but uh, honestly i don't i don't care if i'm if i'm eating a bagel i'll i'll, I'll use some some mouthwash brush my teeth after whatever uh i i make sure that that the seeds the seeds aren't still there so i don't mind that so much i really like a poppy seed bagel um and i would uh i, I don't know if you wanted me to tell you where i would put it on the list yet i would say that this is not my favorite bagel however okay. it is my former favorite bagel from from when i was a kid i always used to get poppy seed bagel um, mm -hmm. these days, I think I put it in that second list, the, the, the alley lasher category. I don't, I don't see it up there. I forgot what it's oh, called. Uh, the, eh, it's just round dough, like the middle tier. No, no, no. Second from the top. Oh, second so from, it won't from stand eight. alone, but it's a good time. It won't stand alone, but it's a good time. Okay, that's so where I would put it. That's where you would end up putting it. Where is the poppy bagel? Um, I'll look for the photo in a second. I'm pretty sure it's this one. Anyway. So for me, Jordan, there's two bagels that are kind of like the, the, the OGs to me. Mm -hmm. It's the sesame bagel and there's okay. the poppy seed bagel. Those are the two. I know that plain is there and obviously plain should be in the mix, but like they're the two like to-go flavors. Like usually more often than not while selling bagels, it was like give me a dozen sesame or it was give me a six sesame, six poppy seed. That's kind of like the regular order. Um, these go incredible. When they're hot, they're incredible. They for some the sesame seed bagel ended up being a more overpowering experience. Whereas with these at our store, we did poppy on just one edge, so like half of it didn't have poppy seeds on it. Mm. Um, it was great. It worked really well with hot pepper cream cheese. Loved it. Couldn't say enough nice things about it. So ultimately, I would feel very okay if I walked in and they had fresh poppy seed. I would get it. Um, for very easy choice. I would go for it. Now, is it part of my faves? Part of the best? No. Because then when I look at like any of these other bagels, like there's some bagels where if they're hot, I'll just grab them right away. Or if I'm getting a sandwich, I'm more likely to get other bagels that are on the board instead of poppy seed. So when you say a sandwich, do you mean like a deli meat sandwich? Anything. If it's cream cheese, I'm still more likely to go for another one, most likely. And then if it's deli meat or if it's smoked meat, if it's um, if it's lox, I'm still more likely to go with something that's not poppy seed. So for that reason, I would end up putting it either in eh, it's just round dough or where you've put it. And since you've already said you would put it in the second tier, I would be very, very comfortable putting it in the second tier as well. Yeah, I think I think that's where it's a solid, definitely a solid bagel 
not top tier for me, just like it's not top tier for you. But I think that is where that's a good spot for poppy seed. And what I will say though, like I'm not a big, so I love having, as I said before, like the whole like lox and cream cheese bagel. That's, that's yeah. for me is, is perfection. Uh, sheer perfection is Mary Berry would say. Um, I, I'm not, and I like the only time I really like meat, meat on a bagel is if it's like bacon or sausage on like a bacon, egg and cheese, like a breakfast sandwich. Yeah. I'm not a big fan of like, deli meat on a bagel i'm not a big fan of like a bagel turkey sandwich i just rather it's not i mean i would eat it yeah ham and cheese that kind of thing i would eat it um but it is like i'd rather have either rye bread or like sourdough type bread i'm I'm not i don't love that on a bagel for whatever reason um so for me i'm not even really taking the toppings into account like how it meshes with with the with the turkey bagel i think maybe even i i might even go plain if i were to have a turkey bagel yeah. Uh, or or, or tur- turkey on a bagel. Um, but you said before that I, I like having the seeds on both sides because when I do, I, I told you I freeze the bagels. When I unfreeze it, defrost it, uh, cut it open, usually if it's been in the freezer, I like to toast it. Um, I prefer a non-toasted bagel if it's fresh, but I like, to, I like to toast it. And then what I'll do is I'll have both sides and I'll put either like butter or cream cheese on. Typically don't have locks in the house. It's extremely rare. That's more of a yeah. special occasion thing. I love having locks in the house. Unfortunately, it's very expensive. Um, yeah. So if I'm putting just like cream cheese or butter on it, I usually like to eat both halves separately. So that's why I like to have the uh, the seeds on both sides. Of the so bagel. you go for like an open face concept with the yeah. poppy seed? That makes yeah. sense. Now, if it's an open face uh, with some like melted butter, is that a super sandwich? Let's not get into this territory <laughs> of uh, the Kirsten McKinnis rule of foods are two categories only. Um, what's it called? Yeah, for me, um, that, that's one of the reasons why I don't really rate bagels that high is that I would almost rather any other type of dough, like bread, over bagels for a sandwich, if I can help it. If I'm going to a bagel shop, obviously I'm getting a bagel, but mm-hmm. yeah. So, okay, so next one on the board that I want to talk about. Let me just quickly look at these pictures right here. So we went with poppy seed, we've talked about pumpkin, and we talked about muselix. Let's go with, let's go with a, a wavy one. Let's go with a, let's go with blueberry here. Blueberry. Let's talk blueberry. Um, so I'll take, I'll start talking about this joint. Um, I don't like blueberries. I don't. Like, I don't mind blueberry, the fruit itself. I can have blueberries, like in a bowl that's fine i don't like blueberry flavored things and i don't like blueberry in pastries i don't like blueberry in dough so i'm not about that life at all i'm a i like sweet bagels this isn't it this is not it for me and i don't really like the blueberry cream cheese either um so i don't really mess with it for me i don't really mess Mm -hmm. with it at all i would honestly say that this would end up in um, not, this wouldn't end up in the bin for me. This would end up in I'm not hungry, and it would end up underneath the uh, the Muselix one. Because at the very least, with the multigram bagel, like I can make, I can get it and sandwich it, and have other toppings, other things like mask the taste a little if I'm not vibing with it, or like hide the raisin. With blueberry, I'm not gonna get like a BLT on a blueberry. That's not happening. No. And I don't want it with the cream cheese because then it just kind of converts the the cream cheese taste to a blueberry cream cheese anyway. So, not for me personally. I know that people that like blueberry might be rating this, but it's in the I'm not hungry territory for me. Yeah. So as I said before, I'm not a big fan of like mixing fruit flavor with cream cheese, uh, and it's the same thing here. I've had some pretty good blueberry bagels like again it's not a bagel i would choose it's a bagel that it's like you know a friend or i I don't remember who it was i was at a bagel place and they were like you got to try the blueberry bagels here (laughs) okay i'll try the blueberry bagel but it was fresh it was fresh out of the uh uh, uh, or whatever whatever it was in uh it was hot i didn't put any butter i didn't put any cream cheese i just bit into it and it was nice like it was a nice flavor the thing is i think in every situation i'd rather have a blueberry muffin as opposed to a blueberry bagel. Just like I'd rather have like an oat bran muffin as opposed to the, the Muselix bagel. So I'm also in that I'm not hungry category where if it's if it's fresh, if it's like, if that's the flavor you're going for, it's fine, but mm-hmm. it's not a versatile bagel. I think I agree with you that it's less versatile than the, uh, the Muselix. So I, I would also put it under that, but in the same category. Cause I don't yeah. think it's 
I wouldn't bin it. I, st I still haven't been to bagel yet. Um, so I, and I'm not going to start with the blueberry. <laughs> yeah. I think cumulatively the only one we ended up binning was the, um, the pumpkin that's because my hatred for it will far outweigh any other opinion almost yeah i think you had a much stronger take about the pumpkin bagel yeah. so i think with our co-rankings it belongs belongs in the bin but i yeah. you know maybe we maybe i get a little hungry later and i'll take it out of the bin mm -hmm. take a, a few nibbles but uh without you looking <laughs> go full stands on that yeah so your turn next um to go okay. here where you want to go we? where do you want to do you did i i gave you the list right i gave you the updated I, list I believe I have the updated list, okay. and I'm gonna go. I yeah. haven't been to Bagel yet, and I want to bin a Bagel. Let's Ooh. go cinnamon raisin baby. Oh, feeling Here savage. We go. All right, take us away. Take it away, man. Let's talk about okay. it. Okay. First of all, let me address the cinnamon. I love cinnamon. I like cinnamon flavor. Uh, I like it when I'm baking. I like it when I'm cooking. Uh, I like it. I like cinnamon toasts. That's not the problem. I don't have a problem with cinnamon. Cinnamon can stay. I would eat, and I think I have had a cinnamon bagel without raisins before, and it's sort of for me in that blueberry bagel category where it's not really versatile. I don't really, I mean, I would have that one with cream cheese and I, you know, maybe some butter would be nice, but I'm out on the raisin. It's my least favorite food. It's a dead grape. I, I, I don't want these dead grapes on, on my bagel. So I am going to bin the cinnamon raisin bagel. It's offensive to me. Um, I'll take it one further. Fuck cinnamon. Huh? Fuck cinnamon and raisins. I don't yeah. like either. I don't like you hate, either. You hate the fall. I, the you hate only fall good thing about <laughs> cinnamon is a cinnamon bun or a cinnabun, if I'm going to be treating myself. That's great. Any mm. other form of cinnamon is not for me at all. I don't like it. It's just, it's just like the taste is too much. It's like being, it's like a very aggressively like you, yeah, you're, we were sweet. But, like, we're going to put you on notice. I don't need to be put on notice by sweets. So, no. Cinnamon's a no-no for me. Raisin's still a no-no for me. So, you put them together in dough. This is, like, the biggest no-no on the board for me. Like, I would I would almost, almost reach into the trash and take the pumpkin out to have it over this. Almost. That It would be very yes. particular territory. Okay. And yes. it would be, like, which yes. one do I uh, want? I, I, I think I called I called dibs on that that trash pumpkin bagel already, Pooh. I don't know. If okay, you can take so then I'm just not eating. I'm just gonna <laughs> fast on that day. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen. Um, I just don't like cinnamon. I really don't. And I know that it's a it's a hot take on it. My mom loves cinnamon um, in almost every form. My sister's the same. I'm pretty sure Liana fucks with cinnamon. Like everyone loves cinnamon. I just it's not for me. And I never did the cinnamon challenge either to have like a bad memory about it. I've just never liked it. So. Unless it's Cinnabon, I'm having none, and this is going in the bin. So, agree. Disagree with the cinnamon take. Agree with the cinnamon raisin is in the bin. That's fine. I, I had a feeling that I'd be on a on a lonely island with that one, but it's fine. Andy Samberg styles. Okay. Uh, is it bin? It's been below pumpkin, right? Is what we're, we're agreeing. Oh, with? it's not even in the same universe as pumpkin. <laughs> okay. Good. Bean is mad. I'm gang chat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is just not. It's not for me. Okay, it's not for me. I'm sorry. Um, let me let me take it away. Let's go talk about something else. Something that I think is uh, should be a relatively popular one with everybody. Dare I say? Or no, it might be d divisive. I don't know. Um, fuck it. We're gonna talk about it. I want to talk about the everything bagel. Okay. Also known as the all dress bagel in. Uh, in my circles so all dress slash everything that's the one we're talking about next so for the uninitiated and jordan correct me if it's different uh, in new york correct me if it's different or you've heard different but the everything bagel at my workplace was sesame seeds poppy seeds onion and garlic that's all that's the the makeup of the everything bagel and it is delicious and it is literally that's the quintessential savory bagel that you could have nothing with if you if you um, mm. if you had to like literally, I think that it's one of those things where um, if I had a hot everything bagel, I don't really need anything else to go with it. But if I want it with a sandwich with like meats in it, it works. If I want it on with a BLT, that works. If I want it with just like almost any type of cream cheese, it works perfectly fine. Um, it is great. I don't have, like, I know that the, the poppy seed and the sesame seed, you know, there's the argument of, like, they get stuck in your teeth, they can get irritating. 
I don't really have that problem with this because it's a mixture of all of them. It's not overpowering from any segment. Um, oh, people are saying there's salt in it as well. So then you add the salt in, and now you got like an even bigger winner for me. Mm. So to me, this is probably one of the better ones we're going to be talking about. I won't give away where I would rate it, but uh, you tell me what you think about it. Okay, so here's my take on everything bagels. I, I do agree salt is the, uh, the fifth ingredient on there. Garlic, onion, salt, sesame, hoppy. I told you that I had recently had 13 bagels in my freezer yes. that have all disappeared down my belly. And <laughs> yeah. every single one of those bagels was an everything bagel. Oh my God. And everything course. bagel to me is the, I said that bagels are the perfect breakfast. This is the perfect bagel. So it's the perfection of perfections, the everything bagel. It has all the, it, it needs all the friends. It needs all those different flavors in there to make the perfect bagel. Then with a little bit of salt, to, add a, little, to a little, add a little saltiness, and then you have the, the cream cheese on it to give it a, to like cool the salt down with some locks. I mean, I would eat it plain. I would eat it, like I've gone to like a bagel store and I sometimes on the way home, I'll take a bagel out and I'll just eat the bagel on, on the way home before I have a chance to put any toppings on it. Everything bagel is the reason why bagels are my favorite breakfast. Um, it's when I go to a bagel store, I can't remember the last time I got anything different than an everything bagel. So this is, uh, and, and you know what? I said before how I, 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 grew, I uh, grew up in New York, have always lived in New York. Bagels sort of represent like the, the New York breakfast. And it's kind of like a microcosm of New York. New York's like a melting pot of all different people. Bagels, the everything bagels, a, a melting pot of all the different bagel flavors. This is perfect. This is at the top of my list. That was poetic as fuck. That, that is the most poetic thing you've ever said in the many years that I've known you now, Jordan. Yeah, I mean, it's a high bar to clear, and I think I just cleared it. <laughs> yeah, of course. <laughs> of course. No, this, it doesn't get any better. It really doesn't. I think the as far as the savory bagels go, this is the king of the savory. This is the one that would sell out every weekend I worked in because people would come in, and if they're sitting into dining, this is what they want for their sandwich. If they're taking them to go and they've come from out of town, this is what they're going for. Um, this is very easily my top, one of my top bagel picks. So... I think there's no debate with this. And I think if your bagel is so good that they've now gone ahead and this has become a thing now where Whole Foods, if Whole Foods is a Trader Joe's, who has the everything but the bagel seasoning that I've seen on the internet? I, I think it's Trader Joe's. Yeah, like, I know it's at my mom's house. I don't know yeah, where she like, got it from. That's a thing now. Like that's a, that's a seasoning that I see a lot of people have. And mm-hmm. it's like, well, you know that it's, if it came, if it derived from the bagel, it's amazing. Obviously, that being said, you can be like, well, other things didn't need, like, they didn't have their own seasoning. It's like, yeah, but just just a good point to throw in there to sweeten the deal. We're going to go, baby. We're going to go with number one seed on the board for the everything bagel. And that is exactly how I pictured this yeah. happening. So I'm not even, I'm not even tripping. This was before, no before I nominate my, my next bagel, Puya, I got I to gotta say something go for about the, the everything seasoning. Yeah. We've been new. We've been new. Do you know why we've been new? Because... A lot of times when I have like extra everything seasoning at the bottom of the bag before everything seasoning was even sold in stores, I put in a little Tupperware, keep it in the fridge just in case for whatever reason, like, I don't know, someone brought plain bagels over to my house and I needed to make it into a little everything bagel, mix it into the cream cheese. (laughs) Then I have it. I always have, if I have bagels in my house, I could turn them into everything bagels. That is, I prefer the store do it, but yeah, uh, yeah. I, I keep a little tin of. I, I think I still have some in my in my fridge, probably. That is phenomenal. I don't think I would have ever thought to keep any of the uh, the remnants, but that is incredible. Yeah, you're a pioneer, Jordan. You've been new before Trader Joe's is selling it for forty bucks a pop. I mean, I'm assuming it's not forty, but I'm being exaggerative. So Trader Joe's, it might be 40 bucks a pot. There you go. <laughs> so where do you want to go next then? We've, we went I, through everything. What's next? I, I mean, I'm a little bit distracted by the fact that we just talked about uh, the everything bagel. I, I was going to wait. I, I wasn't actually going to. I was going to wait till you nominated, essentially, because I wanted to come as late as possible because I don't want to spoil what my favorite bagel was. And, and there isn't going to be a bagel that comes up on here that I like more. So let's, let's go in a completely different direction. Let's pick a bagel that has a, a, a component that's not even part of the everything bagel. Yeah. Let's go with the, the jalapeno. The jalapeno, okay. Uh, before we proceed, Amanda in the chat saying, everything bagel, cream cheese, someone copyright that. It already exists. It we, exists. Yeah. We have it at my store. We had the, uh, and it's exactly what you think. It's all those ingredients in the cream cheese. Um, so you went with... I the jalapeno. Jalapeno. I'm, thank you. You just said it. I don't know why I like, froze on that. 
Okay, so tell tell me tell me about your jalapeno love hate disdain, yes. whatever that so, may be. For me, I I am a big fan of spicy food. I like mm-hmm. jalapenos, which really you know compared to a lot of peppers aren't even that spicy. It's, it's not like an overpowering spice. It's just like you know it's a nice flavor. It's a it's a nice way if you want to have a spicy breakfast. I mean, my favorite type of spicy breakfast is if you have like uh like migas which is almost like it's like eggs and and beans with hot peppers on it and cheese really good i don't even know i i, I they used to serve it at this uh, breakfast place near me um so if i'm gonna have a spicy breakfast i'd rather have that or like a breakfast burrito but if you want your bagel but you're also in the mood for a little spice and then with the uh, mixed with the cream cheese kind of like a jalapeno popper Mm-hmm. This is a pretty good bagel, um, and I'm not going to put it near the top of my list, but I'm not going to put it in, near the bottom of my list, so I'm going to put it right in that that middle category where it's it's kind of like you have to be in the mood for it. Mm-hmm. I, but I do also think it's versatile because if you're putting cream cheese on it, butter on it, it goes well with the with the bagel toppings. Don't think I would go like jalapeno and lox. Maybe I would. Actually, it doesn't sound horrible. It does not but sound I'd have to. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I feel like, though, if I'm, if I'm going to use up my uh, – my, my locks, I'd rather put it on an everything bagel. But um, I I do think it's versatile enough, and it, it is unique because it's the only one here on this list, at least, that's going to give you some spice. Yes. So um, the audience might know this. Chat might know this. I do fuck with spicy food. I do like my spicy food. I um, And I have messed with spicy sandwiches, spicy bagels, for sure. That being said, I think I would definitely much prefer – the spiciness to come from my cream cheese or hot sauce on like a breakfast sandwich mm. over having it be through the um, through the bagel. So that's the preference. Mm-hmm. Um, someone in the chat saying, Dev is saying it looks moldy. It doesn't look the best, does it? Like aesthetically, no. the jalapeno bagel is not a sexy bagel. So no, it doesn't, th- it doesn't, it doesn't get the work. sexy like a sex appeal at all. Um, it does taste decent. So, for me, also, I'm not hearing an echo of myself. Is that happening for anyone else? Let me know. Because for some reason, I'm hearing my voice reverted back to me in some, some way. But whatever. Um, I think all of that being said, Jordan, I don't think... Let me look at our list real quick just to see where everything else has been sitting. Um, this is not in the I'm not hungry. This is above for sure. Um I think for me, this might be the first candidate in the eh, it's just round dough. Just because it is a it is a bagel that doesn't really go above and beyond. It's a spicy choice, but there are other ways. Like a jalapeno cream cheese is delicious. And I would mm-hmm. far rather, even if I have to take a plain bagel with jalapeno cream cheese, over a jalapeno bagel with plain cream cheese, if that makes sense. Yeah, I completely agree with you, Puya. Uh, for me, it's also the the in that middle category, definitely above the Muslix and and the blueberry, below the sesame seed. I think this is where it belongs. I mean, I, the the category is called it's just round dough, which sort of sounds like dismissive of the bagel. Yeah. So I don't want to make it to make it sound like I'm dismissive, but for me, I'm just putting it in that third category because it's sort of like a middling bagel for me. It's unique enough where if you want that spice, this that's the one you get. But I also agree with you, Puya, that I'd rather have a plain bagel with jalapeno cream cheese yeah detective papaya brings up a good point of like some foods speak on their merits not the sexy appearance like poutine i agree some poutines be looking sexy though i will say that some poutines do look sexy but ultimately for me it's i like it's fine it's it's a it's the spicy bagel that we need in the market there needs to be at least one jalapeno is holding it down and i appreciate it but i would prefer it in its cream cheese form over the bagel form It'll so, be good. Yeah. It'll be really good. Yeah. Ghost pepper, te- ghost pepper cream cheese. Yeah, we have or a ghost hot- pepper bagel. Yeah, we have. I a feel hot- like that would add more spice. I'm a big fan of the ghost pepper tequila, and I feel like we could recreate <laughs> that. Put a little salt on the bag- salted bagel with ghost pepper cream cheese. I think that might be really good. Yeah. Hey, I um, what's it look called? Look so look someone's suggesting the takeaway the just from the title to make it seem a little less mean. I'll do that. I um, I think ultimately with the titles, they're just dumb. So like, just think of it as like ranking of one to five kind of thing. categories one to five. Um, yeah. but let's see. Uh, We're ranking Dino- each bagel based on its uh, its legacy. Yeah, <laughs> Dino Dinosaur Extreme Extreme Manino. And Shark Boy, thank you for the follows. By the way, we did hit a one thousand follows over the weekend. And you know what that means. Friday, 
on Pia Friday, I am going to look back and watch my first ever appearance on RHAP on the So You Think You Can Podcast competition. Come join. It'll be cringy, but it'll be a good time. Hopefully. Hopefully. We'll see. For you guys, not for me. I might hate it, but it's fine. We hit. We're there. Okay. Jordan. Jordan, yeah. Jordan, Jordan. I have to pick next, and I would like to go with let's go with the let's start deconstructing the everything a little bit and go with one of the deconstructed ones let's go with the salt bagel okay okay so you talk about it first i feel like you might have more opinions on the salt than i do i'm a little bit more of a stranger to the salt bagel so a salt bagel first of all as one of the members of the everything family it needs its friends. It, it, need, it needs its friends to be with it to be perfect. It's not going in the top category. I think I've made that clear. Um, I think a salt bagel is the bagel that maybe has the most variance, like within its type. Because sometimes you get it and there's a little bit of salt on the top. Sometimes you get it, it's covered in salt, like it's another type of bagel. And when it's covered in salt, like top and bottom, to me, it's it's pretty bad. It's way too salty. It overtakes whatever toppings you put on it. Even though you could put some cream cheese on it to, to cool it down, um, it's just too much. I like a salt bagel if it if it doesn't go overboard with the salt. Uh, but again, it's missing flavor because salt's not really a flavor. Salt is salt. <laughs> I mean, I guess salty is a flavor, but it's not really. You know, it's kind of it's kind of just uh, it, it's a flavor that if you put too much of it, it's just it's just going to taste like salt. So I would say that it is, it's not a bad bagel, but it's easy to ruin. Like that bagel that you're showing right now, that looks like a good amount of salt. But again, I'd rather, if I'm going to have like bread and salt, I'd rather have a hot pretzel. Exactly. And I think that for me is the, is the big problem with this is that a better version of this exists in the form of a pretzel. Um, and I think that as a standalone, this isn't doing it for me. It really isn't. What is the best pairing with the salt bagel? What would you say is the best pairing? I would say cream cheese. I don't even know if I'd want to put lox on it because lox is already pretty salty. Uh, and I think it would just like overtake it. I think it would be a waste of lox. But I would go maybe like uh, t- tomato and cream cheese. I- I'm-, I'm a fan of tomato on a bagel. I know I said I don't like fruit and vegetables with cream cheese. That's, that's mm-hmm. the exception. Um, so I that's what I would go because I think then – you have you have the cream cheese you have like the moisture from the the tomato and the flavor that's that's uh taking away some of the salt so i think that might be okay but again it's it's a bit much yeah yeah i um what's it called i also feel like i can't think of a good because like it it definitely not with a blt like that shit's already going to be way too salty with the bacon i do Mm -hmm. think same thing with the smoked salmon um, I think like obviously if you're having like a um, like an egg sandwich or like a breakfast sandwich, they're gonna salt the eggs anyway. Like you don't need this. It's like it's like putting this like you just don't need this. So for me, mm-hmm. this is either maximum in the middle or in the I'm not hungry. But I would still eat this if I was hungry. So I think it ends up in the middle tier for me. So. I was, those were the two tiers I was thinking about too. So yeah. I was thinking about what's in each tier right now. I have a, we have the jalapeno bagel in, in the middle section and I prefer a jalapeno bagel to a salt bagel. Uh, and then I, but then you also have like the ones that are in the second to lowest section. Like you have the, the blueberries in there, you have the muselix and I would put it above the blueberry and muselix. I would say, And this is, if it's made correctly, kind of like the bagel that you're showing right now that's not completely covered in salt, I put it in that middle section because I think you could save it with toppings. But, like, why should we have to save the bagel with toppings? So it's it's I'm going back and forth. I'm putting it in the middle, but it's on notice. Okay. So we'll put it on the middle for now. And, of course, when we get through these, the closer we get to the end, we end up moving some stuff around. Mm -hmm. Um, But, yeah. Yeah. I I will say, at our store, we didn't carry the salt bagel, but... We did. They did use the bagel dough. The usually the tail end of the bagel dough, they would make two things with it. One was the pretzel, which literally they would make a pretzel, put some salt on that bad boy, throw it in the oven, put it on the display. The other thing was the bagel dog, where they had um, kosher hot dogs, put the dough around it, um, and then we had it um, everything style. We had it sesame style, and we had garlic, and then just. Mm-hmm. Make it like a bagel, toast that joint, put that on the display. So those were two things they did with those, which really turned out nice. 
I would prefer both of those options to the pure salt bagel. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Okay. We're getting there. We're, uh, let's see how many. Six, eight. We're almost halfway-ish. We're getting there. I yeah. want to go with – actually, no, I'm not going with shit. It's your turn. I'm sorry. I it's, nearly... my, it's my turn, yeah. and I am I am going to go with hey. the Look onion bagel. Look at us. Huh? Who would have thought? With the onion? The onion bagel, yeah. Onion it is. Okay. So, huh. so onion bagel. So this is one of the – you know, one of the four, five ingredients of the everything. I fuck with the onion bagel. I like the onion bagel. It's crispy onion. I, mm-hmm. I do love that. It It's one of my favorite cream cheese bagel pairings is an onion bagel with hot pepper cream cheese. It's so good. I love it so much. And I enjoy it. I enjoy it with the sandwich. It works nice. It's not too overpowering mm-hmm. um, like, a, like a, maybe a garlic would be. Not to spoil how I feel about that. It, it's not overwhelming me. The onion doesn't feel like, oh, it's too much. And I, I don't feel like it's an overkill at all. And it's seasoned well. Like, it tastes well. It's got flavor to it. I would give the onion bagel, especially when the onion bagel is fresh. It's so good, Jordan. Like, it could, it's a standalone. Like, I could eat a bagel, like a hot onion bagel while I'm waiting. It's very, it just, yeah. yeah. And like, it's, it makes perfect with the hot pepper cream cheese or with almost any other cream cheese, this works well. This might be the close, one of the closer contenders to me for the everything, but I would like to hear what your thoughts are on it. Yeah, so the uh, the onion bagel is one of my favorite types of bagels. Uh, it is probably my, I mean, it's hard to say anything's my favorite component of the everything because I think they all work together so well. It's like if you have like a starting five, I mean, I don't mm-hmm. think any of them are the Michael Jordan. Um, I think that they're all like, they're all, they're all, they all do their job. They're all role players. They all come together. But the onion, I think, is maybe my favorite out of those components. Uh, when you toast a bagel, and again, I, I prefer to have a bagel fresh, not toasted, like right out, right out of the oven, right from the bagel store. But if I am toasting it the next day, I love how crispy the onions get when they've come out of the toaster. You eat that with uh, with cream cheese or or with um, with, with butter. It's delicious. Uh, it adds even a little bit of sweetness because onion has some some sugar in it. So even mm-hmm. though you're getting like that uh, that kind of strong flavor from the onions, as you said before, it's not it's not overpowering. They get a little crispy. They add a little sweetness. They're a little soft, but not too soft as well. It's it's like cr- crispy on the outside, soft on the inside when you toast it. And I would put this pretty high up. I can't go top tier because for me it doesn't match up to the everything because it's it's missing the four other parts but i would put it in in that second highest tier so i guess I, i'm gonna ask you this point blank are you coming in with no other bagel is gonna end up in the top tier you are correct sir okay is that allowed it's allowed I mean, obviously <laughs> everything's allowed there's no, there are no rules here um so i'm i would put this above the poppy seed would you agree to that at least yes so that will put it here for now We'll see how the rest of this list goes. I might fight you on the onion moving up one, but we'll see. There's still a bit, few bagels to go. It'll be, if anything, it'll be like behind the everything, obviously, for sure. Yeah, but I mean, uh, yeah. It's a very yeah. easy choice. Of course. Yeah. No, I'm, I, I, yeah, but it's definitely, definitely top tier bagel. Like you said before, you could just take, you could just take it and eat it. You don't even have to put anything on it. It'll be great. I, I've gotten bagels like before going on hikes before, like to just put them in my, my backpack, take it out. And if it happened to be an onion bagel, I'd be like, oh, cool, an onion bagel. But where, where it's friends that go on the end. Yeah. Um, X knows nothing in the chest is this is wrong, but okay. Let me know why it's wrong. I'm curious on your reasoning behind it. Um, I will say Doom mentions the only problem that they have with the onion bagel is if it was coming in for breakfast. I do agree. Uh, the Anything that it can give you a – not a bad – like horrible breath, but like contribute negatively to the breath factor in the morning, I'm not about. And that is the perfect segue to talk about the next one, the, uh, the twin brother almost of the onion. Let's talk about the garlic bagel right here. Yeah. So – for me, the garlic bagel. Actually, you know what? You talk. You can start on it first because I sure. talk about the onion first. So I love garlic. I cook with garlic all the time. I like it basically on on almost anything that I eat. It's a little bit stronger of a flavor than the than the onion. And I think when it comes to like bagel topping, if I had to have one or the other, I would choose that onion flavor over the garlic flavor. But again, I, I think garlic's delicious. It's probably a divisive bagel because not everyone loves like strong garlic flavor. And when you have a whole bagel that's garlic, it is going to be really strong. It can lead to bad breath. But I'm, I'm just going to go 
based on the taste of the bagel. I love it. I really, I really do love it. And I, I'm kind of between two categories here. It, and it's, it's tough for me because I, I do think again, it needs for it to be perfect. It would need to have the other everything bagel toppings. Um, it's to me, it's like pretty close. It's below onion. It's kind of pretty close to poppy to me, but I also think it's like not that much higher than, let me see, let me see that middle category for a second. You got it. Um, so in the middle category right now, we've got the jalapeno bagel and we've got the salt okay. bagel. So based on that, I think it's closer to sesame and onion for me than it is to jalapeno and salt. So I, I think I would have it in that second category, but maybe not as high as the other two in that second category. Okay. So it would end up being behind the two is what you're saying. Mm -hmm. Okay. So for me, um, I, I've made my points clear about the garlic it is overwhelming. Sometimes it can be with the taste. Um, it is, it's delicious. I mean, I'm not going to hold you. Garlic is awesome. And I also use it for cooking all the time. Um, if you put slap some butter on a toasted garlic bagel, you've made garlic bread. Congratulations. And it's delicious. There is no debating that, uh, especially when you get it hot out the uh, hot out of the oven. Also very easy to just eat. The breath factor is a thing to me. I definitely take that into consideration. Um, I knew people would come in and order garlic bagel with garlic cream cheese. And I was like, are you do you hate your date right now you're like you're clearly going to the movies you're here with your significant other you're just trying to mess with them this is too much um it can be too much and that's my biggest knock against it but i might put this above the the poppy the poppy might be a little too basic for me um at least the garlic's giving me a little kick a little something mm -hmm. um so that's why i would maybe lean a little higher because then the garlic also you know i'm not i'm at a sam i'm at a bagel place i'm getting a sandwich they're not cooking with garlic, but if uh, I'm getting a garlic bagel now, it's a part of it. So that works out real nice. Um, yes, yeah, so I would I would try and vouch for let's put it behind onion and not behind poppy. Would you give me that or would I, you fight I'd, it? I'd be fine with that. And, and honestly, depending on, on the day, I might, you know, if, if you have if you have a poppy seed bagel and you have a garlic bagel sitting in a basket, those are the, you know, the, those, the, those are the only type of bagels that you have. Which one am I going to take? It's almost 50 50 like I sometimes I might reach for the poppy sometimes I meet, might reach for the garlic you've definitely talked me out of putting it in middle tier, tier. I don't know what I was thinking like a minute and a half ago it's definitely definitely second tier for me yeah um, because it's a hundred times better I think than salt or jalapeno yeah. um, behind onion for sure but I would I would give you just because look I'm more 50 50 you def, you're definitely 100 percent seems like garlic over poppy yeah I, I could give you that definitely garlic garlic over poppy and it's it, it's close to the onion. I guess it's closer in flavor to the onion than it is to the poppy seed bagel. Yeah, that's true. These are all truths. Okay. Um, I believe it's my turn now. I believe mm -hmm. it's back to me, and I'm gonna give you the floor right away. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take this grenade. I'm gonna throw it your way, and then you're gonna run with it. And let's talk about um, something that you added to this list. Let's talk about marble rye. Marble rye. Yeah. Um, so the marble rye. Uh, is more more known as a bread than it is as a, as a bagel. Marble mm -hmm. rye bread, delicious, great for sandwiches, great for toast, um, but it does work as a bagel as well. Um, now, is it as versatile as some of the bagels that we have towards the top of our list? No, it has a distinct flavor. I think if I were to have like, you know, a pastrami sandwich or like a turkey sandwich or, or you know, whatever type of like deli meat sandwich on a bagel, even though I'd rather have it on bread, I think I would go with the marble rye bagel because it's the most like bread. So it's almost, it's, it's very different than anything else that we have. It's a different type of dough, but I'm a big fan of rye flavor. So I, I do enjoy this. It's just not really something that I would necessarily order if I go to a bagel place. It's just something that I've had because it's been in people's houses. Yeah. I, um, so I looked at this, right? And I and I do, I remember looking it up, but for the purposes of understanding it, I'm going to Google it again um, to see exactly what goes into it. Because for me, we didn't carry this at our store. So we carried the pumpernickel. And when people ask, what is the pumpernickel? I would say, have you had rye bread? It's similar. They are similar. So ultimately i guess for me this is like why do i need this if pumpernickel is available like what sets them apart 
Sure. So they are similar. Uh, the pumpernickel is a little bit of a darker dough. The 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 marble rye is like you have like you have like a kind of a darker dough mixed with a lighter dough. Mm-hmm. Uh, I I prefer and again they're similar. I prefer the marble rye flavor to the pumpernickel flavor. But again, I think they're both good bagels. Not top two tier, not bottom two tier. To me, this kind of belongs in that everything, sorry, in that uh, uh, jalapeno category Mm -hmm. where it's unique. It's going to be different than your regular like bagel that you'll have with like cream cheese or lox or whatever, but it has its, it has its use. And I think it's definitely better than the things that we have in the, in the two bottom categories. It plays a little gimmicky to me. The the fact that it's two doughs brought together. It's like, I don't know if it, if it appeals to me, I, I would still like, I'm not going to lie to you. I would still grab one of these over anything from I'm not hungry and below. So it definitely for me does not go below third tier. Yeah. And it's definitely staying in third tier, but then it's just a matter of where would I throw it? You know, where would I put that? And I think I'm I would lean towards putting it I mean, I might put this up. This might be the best of the middle though for me. Cuz I think I would, maybe I would agree. I would agree with that. I yeah. I there's more cases where I where I'd go for the marble rye bagel over the jalapeno because it's still like it's still a plain bagel just with different dough texture with different dough right so mm-hmm. that that's easy for me to throw almost anything on there. Doom is saying molasses <laughs> is the difference between pumpernickel and marble rye. That sounds right. In the chat, okay. I think that's what makes it, makes the dough darker in, in pumpernickel. Mm. So then we can we might as well just rope them in together, Jordan, and then talk about the pumpernickel right here right now. Yeah, I mean, I think that I think that makes a lot of sense. It's a similar flavor. I don't like it as much, honestly. I think the difference is that I might put the marble rye slightly above jalapeno, but I think I would put the pumpernickel slightly below jalapeno, but still ahead of salt because I think if you put too much salt on that on that thing, it's gonna it's gonna ruin the bagel. So it's it's less likely to be a bad bagel than the salt. So a perfect a perfect yeah. salt might be at the top of my middle list, but I'm but I'm still putting it at the bottom. Like as I said before, it's on notice. I might move it down. I might move it. You never know. Anything very possible. unpredictable for you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you just uh, they call you unpredictable, Jordan. That's what I've heard. Yeah. I, um. So I disagree with you on the pumpernickel. I I do prefer the pumpernickel over the marble rye. It is a more honestly the pumpernickel is probably the most filling of the bagel options standalone like without anything on it. If I was having any of these bagels, a pumpernickel is the one that's gonna like feel more filling right out the gate, right? So that's one. And then I think it works well with locks. I think it works well with a BLT. It is a great one to have with almost any other sandwich. Even an oven roasted sandwich, uh, chicken sandwich worked well with this. I like it. And to me, this also, again, plays off a little bit like the plain bagel, just with a little bit of a difference to it. But ultimately, I think just for the filling factor alone, I would end up rating this as the best of the eh. But you've given me a couple uh, takes here. You've given me a couple of the... uh, You've let me move like garlic up. You let me move this up. I'm going to give you this. You said this would go beneath jalapeno above salt. That's where I I would put it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Doom says, pumpernickel needs a stronger topping cream cheese for me. I don't like them plain. Yeah, I, I wouldn't eat that plain, to be to be clear. I would Same. only end up, I'm only saying that if I was in a, if I'm like jumping from here to another podcast, if I grab a pumpernickel bagel, that would almost feel like a meal in its own right. Whereas another bagel would be like, mm, like I could still eat two of them potentially. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, yeah, I, I mean, it's the kind of thing, though, where with both the marble rye and the pumpernickel bagels, mm-hmm. while I like them both, I'd rather have just regular marble rye or regular pumpernickel bread than a, right. than a bagel, Right. Um, which is kind of a knock against both of them. But they are still very good. Like, it's still a good meal. And, and I, I, I agree um, with the chat saying that. It, it sort of needs a topping. It's not like like a garlic or an onion or an everything no. where you could just sort of take it, eat it without a topping. And maybe you wish you had something on it, but you don't need it. Definitely. You do not. You do not need yeah. it. Um, okay. So then we go to the next one. And we don't have much left, actually. This is no. going to be one of the quicker ones. Um, but that's the beauty of the bagels. They're all, like, in the same league. Okay. Okay, I'm going to go with the our Asiago. I've written it down as Urban Cheddar, but I've changed it on the fly to Asiago because that is the more well-known version of the cheese-based bagel. 
So it might mm -hmm. not be the right picture here, but it's the Asiago bagel. And Jordan, what are your thoughts on the Asiago? What are your thoughts on cheese bagel? So I love cheese and I love bagels. I don't know if I've ever had this particular bagel. I have had either plain or everything bagels with cheddar cheese or, um, you know, various types of like, like a um, Jarlsberg cheese melted on top, which is really good. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm kind of fascinated to, to have this, but I think both of the bagel places I go to, I don't even think this is an option. Um, I do like Asiago, Asiago cheese on bread. I've had it on sandwiches before. It sounds delicious. So I'm sort of going sight unseen, but I can't just because it's, it's cheese and it's a bagel with some herbs. I like it like herbs and cheese is a great, like great uh, flavor combination. There's no way I'm going below tier three, even though I've never had it. Right. Like I could see it. I could, I could imagine what that's going to taste like. It looks amazing. Yeah. I almost wanted to rebrand this as just cheese, a cheese based bagel. Cause like obviously different cheeses, different opinions and so on. I mean, I see nothing wrong with this. <laughs> If you're if you're a fan of cheese, you throw this on with almost anything and it slaps. You can even have it if it's fresh out the oven on its own. It's literally got its own like yeah. insides as a topping on oh, it. Yeah. You've you've heard my jokes, you know I'm a fan of cheese. Exactly. Yeah, we're we're both big on cheese. We're cheesy folk here. Love the cheese. Um I think this ends up in the second tier. Let me just hop back into the old tier list. So you're rating it in the in the third tier. I would no, end no, up. No. I'm yeah. saying I can't go lower than third tier. You can't go lower than third. Honestly, like I, I can't put it higher than anything that we have in the second tier. But just looking at that, I want that more than a marble rye bagel right now. And I think if I had it, I, it would really kind of contend with one of these uh, everything type bagels, like the the everything like uh, combination or, or I guess individual bagels. Yeah, I would them. honestly, Jordan. I'm telling you, I'm pretty sure you would rate this over a poppy seed if you had it. I Given might what we've I talked might. about. I think you would end up being very cool with this um, to have it with the pot. Are you a are you a chive cream cheese guy? Yes, absolutely. Then this would slap with that. I'm telling you. Yeah, Ch chive or, or scallion. Usually when I'm when I'm getting cream cheese, I'll get one of those too uh, mm -hmm. from the bagel store. Like I mean, I, I'm fine with a lot of cream cheeses. I like plain cream cheese, chive, scallion. Uh, sc I mean, I make a scallion over chives because I think scallions just fresh chives. Is that yeah. correct? Um, I love uh, like lox spread. If you don't want to go like go all out and buy the full lox, you could do the lox spread cream cheese. Mm -hmm. And I think any of these or none of them would be incredible on on the uh, on the cheese on the the Asiago cheese yeah. bagel. I have a question for you. Um, it's not from the chat, but it's derived from the chat. Have mm -hmm. you ever been to Panera Bread? I have been to Panera Bread, but I wouldn't get a bagel at Panera Bread. Okay. Well, I don't know what exactly is at Panera Bread that DT has now confirmed based on your opinions you've never been. So I'm curious what DT says next about that. So I'll say this though, the Panera bread that is is near the town that I used to go, I used to go there once in a while, like senior year of high school, I would go there for lunch with my friends. Mm -hmm. And then like, I came back to my town, uh, like after like, you know, college or whatever on a break. Yeah. And I feel like the local Panera bread in my town just went downhill. The food quality wasn't good. Like the soup was cold. And I just, I was sort of turned off from that. I tried, I even tried going back again because I always liked the food there. And I just felt like the quality went down. Maybe I should give a different Panera Bread a chance. I mean, it's a franchise, so it could just be that one place. Yeah. Um, but again, I'm the only place that I'm getting bagels. I'm not going to get a bagel at a, at, a, at a chain restaurant. I don't like, get, I, like, I don't get bagels from like Walmart or anything. I nah. get them from either a bakery or I don't have them. Like, it's just like, no, a, like a bagel I, place. I mean, I would rather have like a, a pumpkin bagel from a bagel shop uh, from, from a, like a like a real bagel store than like a thomas's everything bagel like i'm not even counting that as a bagel oh i i don't know if i agree with that i would much rather if i'm in that position i would still i would get the the gentrified mass produced shitty bagels at that point for the flavor right over the pumpkin just because i i can't i can't do it with the pumpkin it's too much um but yeah, how much is a dozen bagels here? Like, how much did you spend on your bagels? So when I got my dozen bagels, uh, and again, they give you thirteen. I believe it was like twelve fifty or something. No, oh, okay, I see. Damn. Yeah, like they they used to be nine dollars Canadian at our store. Then they went up to ten. By the time I left, they were at eleven dollars a dozen. Mm -hmm. So they might be up to like around around. <laughs> They're at <now>. twenty five. <laughs> <now>. Yeah. <laughs> um. Okay. So yeah. So I ended up putting it just to let you know. I put it above uh, poppy seed, below mm -hmm. garlic. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I would say my, my typical order there, I get I get the, the baker's dozen, all, all everything bagels with, uh, I'll usually do like a half pound of uh, scallion cream cheese. The whole thing usually comes out to about like 19. Mm. So I think that, that checks out. That makes sense. That makes sense. Are you, um? do you, like, um, our store had the offer to slice the bagels. Were you, uh, hey, can you slice them for me? Or are you just, uh, I'm good, I'll go home. No, I, I, I slice it at home. I mean, if I'm eating the bagel there and, uh, and like I'm ordering like a bagel and cream cheese or a bagel with uh, right. yeah, you know, it's a bacon, egg and cheese, obviously they do that. But no, if I'm bringing them home, I, I'd, rather, uh, I'd, I'd rather slice them myself. I, I like to slice them before I put them in the freezer because if not, like you defrost the bagel and then sometimes it's still like solid in the middle and it's harder to, uh, to cut it then. So I like to yeah. slice and then put it in the freezer. Okay. okay. Good to know. Um, so I believe I picked it. So it's back to you, Jordan. We're almost right. there. Six let's left. go. Um, let, let's go with. Uh, let's go. Let's go crazy. Let's go with the rainbow bagel. The rainbow. Yeah, you put this on here. I have no idea what flavors are in here, so I'm very curious. What? It's really just like a plain. From from. I've only had it once. I tried it. I don't even think I had the whole thing. But it was basically like a plain. I think plain bagel dough with food coloring, and honestly, just. I was turned off by the whole, the whole fact that this was a colorful bagel, and to me it kind of messed. Up, even though I think it's just plain bagel dough, it messed it messed up the texture for me, and it didn't taste exactly like a plain bagel. So, um, I, I've th- these have become popular within the, I would say like the last like eight years maybe I don't know, um, but it's to me it's like if I were a kid maybe I'd be like oh this is fun, but. I, I loved bagels as a kid, and I think I'd be turned off by this even when I when I was younger. So I, I'm not a fan. Okay. So if it is just food coloring, I wasn't sure. Um, obviously, like I mentioned, we we did some themed ones at our store. Um, there was the green one for St. Patrick's, the red one for Canada Day, the candy cane for pepper uh, for the Christmas, which the candy cane was multiple colors. Um, okay. The rainbow one definitely looks more visually appealing. Um. And it's like vibrant, bright colors. It does look, Doom is mentioning, looks like Play-Doh. I do mm-hmm. think it does look like Play-Doh. Um, if it's a plain, it's fine, right? Like flavor-wise, it's okay. But I also have a hard time, like, um, remember back in the day when there was like, I think it's still like, like green pasta or green ketchup. Like, mm-hmm. it's just food coloring. It's off-putting. It, it is, and it sometimes it's like placebo-wise, it just tastes weird. It doesn't just yeah. taste like what it's supposed to be. I don't see the point. Like, I, I get what they're going for. I think kids go in, they probably tell their parents, oh, I want yeah, this, this rainbow time. bagel. But, uh. Yeah, like, if every, for uh, during Christmas, so many parents would be like, I could hear the kids, like, asking for that one. And they'll come, like, what's in the, what's in that one? I'm like, oh, it's peppermint flavor. And they're like, oh, okay, never mind. And then the kid starts crying, like, I, you're not going to like this. Trust me. You're not going to like this. Uh, Colt, I believe it's at 9 p.m. Eastern. And you'll see a familiar face there too. Um, talking about the stream, the uh, round table. But yeah, so like it is, it is very much v- like appealing to children for sure. Um, if it is just plain, then I there's better versions of this. I wouldn't put it in. Uh, do I put it? I wouldn't put it in Binum because I mean, all it's doing is trying to market itself, and it's plain, so the flavor is not going to offend me any. But I would put it in. I would either put it in the bottom of eh, it's just round because if it is a plain bagel, then I and I'm hungry. I'll have this with cream cheese. Fuck it. I'll just try not like I'll try not placebo myself into thinking it's something different. Um, or it's at the top of the I'm not hungry's because again, it's a plain bagel in disguise. Yeah, but again, like I just I feel like when I did have this, I don't know if it was the placebo effect or if the texture was actually off. I am between two categories too, but I'm almost between Binum and I'm not hungry because I'd rather have the pumpkin bagel than this. Oh so. my god! That's <laughs> I'm sorry. That that's come on. I mean, I know that you. I know that for you, it's going to be above pumpkin. Yeah. Um, but like the highest I could go is like worst on I'm not hungry. The best I could go is top of Binum, and that's only taking like your anti pumpkin bias into consideration. All right. Well, I'll put it in the bottom of I'm not hungry. I guess I'm, I'm okay with that because at the end of the day, like if I close my eyes, would I know? I don't know. Mm-hmm. I mean, can I taste colors? I don't think so. So I probably wouldn't know. Um, 
I, so I, I'm fine. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I mean, I like you know they're trying to appeal to the to the youth, so I, I appreciate that. You I'm know, a boomer. I, I don't need to appeal to. The youth. <laughs> um. All right. A lot. The chat's with you. If that's any consolation, they're like saying, "Bin it. It's deceiving. It's a lie." I'm a man of the people. <laughs> of course, Dece, man of the people, ghoulish. All right, we got five left here, and we've got one that I think is going to be a very fun debate. Yeah. Um, because I have very strong opinions on it, so I'm not going to pick that. You might land on it, which is better. Uh, let's talk about the egg bagel. Okay. So the egg bagel is literally... Is it just made with egg? Is my first question to you. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I don't know exactly how they make it. Um, I know that it's like similar to a bagel. Obviously, there's egg in it, which gives it its yellow color. I mean, like, I'm not opposed to egg flavor on a bagel because I eat, like, like a bacon egg and cheese on a bagel is delicious mm -hmm. um it's not it's not offensive to me i just don't know why we're messing with regular bagel dough unless like and again like it's the difference between like new york style bagel montreal style bagel different doughs but i almost see them as kind of different things where they're both they're both great an egg bagel for me is fine i think i would you know, if you give if someone gave me an egg bagel and it was already loaded up with cream cheese and lox, I'd, I'd be like, thank you uh, for this this uh, free bagel with cream cheese and lox. It's wonderful. Um, and uh, but I'd be in my head, I'd be like, why didn't they use regular dough? So I'm I'm fine with it. I'm it's but I'm not excited about it either. So I this was why I was confused. So with you know making the dough for a bagel, we used eggs for all of them except for whole wheat. Whole wheat had no eggs. Every other bagel, eggs were in the recipe. So that's why I was okay. confused with this. So it's just too much eggs? You think someone made a mistake one day and, like, put too much eggs and they were like, oh, this isn't bad. Maybe. Like, they just put hella yolk on it. I don't know. Let me uh, let me try and figure this out. Um, egg bagel. All right. We're going to Google it together. <coughs> bagel made with egg yolks or whole eggs in addition to the standard dough that contains the stuff. Okay. The eggs give the bagel a yellow tint that distinguishes them from other bagels. So I think it's just heavier on the egg then potentially, yeah. right? Or yeah. So and, is, and I I think what I I've had I mean I've had it and to me it's just like it's slightly wrong, but it's not bad. Yeah. Because is the is my question to you is, is does um does the New York style not have eggs in them? No, I think they do. I've never made bagels, but I'm pretty sure New York bagels have egg, but I don't Let know. Let's see. I mean, I like yolks. I mean, yolk yolk is probably my favorite part of eggs. I've had I've had like uh, uh, egg white omelets before, and they're definitely missing the yolk. Um, but I'm not I'm not sure. Maybe maybe New York bagels don't have eggs. I'm, I'm not. They're sure saying they don't. They're saying they don't. So maybe. Okay. Uh, huh. There we go. There we go. Okay. Then uh, that's solved. So then I'm more used to this probably because they are in literally the makeup of every dough that they make except for the whole wheat for our side. Yeah, mm -hmm. this is too much for me. I think if I want eggs on a bagel, I'll just get a, a like a breakfast sandwich on yeah. like a plane and that'll do it for me. I don't need the the too much egg feeling at all. So for that reason, I'd be out on this, but I wouldn't be out enough to like say no not gonna have it. I would maybe put it top of I'm not hungry, if not bottom of the doughs, the round dough. That's actually, that's exactly where I am too. Um, <laughs> I know for me, it's definitely gonna be below salt. It's gonna be above muselix. I would say, I would say it's closer to salt than muselix. So yeah. I think I put it in round dough because I again, I'm not, I'm not offended by it. I, I'm not anti egg yolk uh mm -hmm. I, honestly if you you know especially since i mean this is kind of going in a different direction here but you can have like an egg everything and i have had egg everything and it's it's good um so you could rectify the egg bagel either with seeds or with toppings just like i think you could rectify a salt bagel by putting like some cream cheese and tomato so i'm putting it above muselix and i think it belongs more in that category yeah i, I i'm fine with that there i think ultimately for me i would not have this with cream cheese most likely I would have this with almost most of the sandwich bagels outside of like the, the egg based ones because there's that might be too much egg. I could see having this and being okay with it there. I would feel comfortable with it there. But ultimately, would I prefer a lot of other options over this? Yes. So I think it's in the appropriate spot for yeah. the uh, egg bagel. So we got four left, Jordan. 
Hit me with the next one. Okay, so we have, it looks like we have a plane. What big was it us? Okay, so we've got <laughs> remaining on the list. Yeah, we're getting there. So we have... They all look the same at this point. Yeah, uh, we have plain whole wheat, sesame, and chocolate chip. Okay. It's a very weird, go... like, weird choices left yeah, at the end. Yeah, it is. I'm, I'm going to go with, to me, one of the weirder ones. I'm going to go with, with uh, chocolate chip. And I'm going to say that a chocolate chip bagel... I, I'm a big chocolate guy. I really like chocolate. Um, it's going to be kind of in my cat that category for me with like muslix or pumpkin or blueberry, where I think it works better for a muffin. Even though I'm I'm famously for uh, for viewers of your your stream more more uh, partial to the the cupcake than the muffin, but I still do love a muffin. Um, thing is, for me, chocolate does not belong in a bagel, and I would be binning this bagel. That is insane of you to say the chocolate bagel is the only and best sweet bagel there is it is delicious you can literally have it on its own and it's it's a snack it's a treat it's so good if you have it with nutella you're in heaven if you have it with peanut butter you're in heaven if you have it with like it is so fucking good this is the best sweet bagel there is Binning it is insane. If you like chocolate, you like the chocolate chip bagel. There is. I just don't think they go together. I mean, I you've had Nutella on a slice of toast, right? I've had Nutella on toast. There you yeah, go. but not, then on, a what's the not on a bagel. Why is it strange? It's a bagel versus toast. Look, I, I don't. I, I have many different uh, categories for foods, and for me, bagel and toast. Yeah, they're both bread, but they're their own subcategories of bread. I think that Nutella belongs on toast. Um, I don't think that chocolate chips belong in a bagel. I'd rather have the blueberry than than chocolate when it comes to a bagel. Why? In, in most cases, in most cases, I would rather have chocolate over blueberry. Like I'd rather have a chocolate muffin than a blueberry muffin. Right. Well, but in a bagel, put... for some reason, uh, to, because to me, a bagel. If I'm having a bagel, it's usually because I want like more of a savory uh, breakfast. And I know, like, obviously, that's and that's why blueberry, like. I don't have it. That's why I don't have blueberry that high, even though I don't think it's terrible. I, I have it, you know, towards, towards the bottom of the list. But to me with the chocolate chips, it's going even further down that like dessert alley. And I don't want a bagel dessert. I just, I feel like if you have this hot, fresh out the oven, or if you put this in a toaster, this is the one bagel that I can walk away with, with it in my hand, and I can easily eat it and have a good time. It goes well with peanut butter. It goes well with Nutella. It goes well with cream cheese, believe it or not. It is just so good. I do like so peanut satisfying. butter on a bagel, actually. I like peanut peanut butter for me. I don't love it on like a, a bagel with seeds, but like on a plain bagel, I think it's pretty good. And I do love the chocolate peanut butter combination, but I would rather have that in like ice cream. <laughs> it's my favorite ice cream, but like on a bagel, I'm just, to me, it's a turn off. Like, I mean, I, I don't think it's going to end up in the Binum pile because I could tell you're pretty high. Oh, in it, this was, I, I was coming in, Jordan, to say that this to me, when we did the chips uh, tier list, we picked the chip that we thought was the best of the chips. And then we ended up putting a jalapeno kettle chips in the top tier too to recognize that for the spicy people, this is what you want. This is my bagel for the sweet joints. This was going to go up there. This is where really? I would put it. Yeah. Wow. It's that, it's that good. Um, as a sweet option. So, but like, what do you so besides peanut butter? Are there any other toppings that you would put on this? I've literally so I've had this with I've had this with peanut butter. I've had this with Nutella. I've had it with a mixture of both. I've had it with um, hazelnut cream cheese. Delicious there too. Hazelnut it can be cream cheese. it can be too much. Um, depending on how much chocolate you like on chocolate. But then regular cream cheese works fine. And believe it or not, this might be a popular take. It goes really well with the breakfast option of a bacon, egg, and cheese as well. It does work. Bacon, egg, and cheese on a on a it chocolate chip work. bagel. It's crazy, oh, no. but it works. I think that's ah oh, man. You don't have to do it, but it works. But it does go well with sweet cream cheese. Like this with the blueberry cream cheese also makes the blueberry cream cheese more tolerable. And this with the butter. If you get just get this with butter, that. A uh, chocolate bagel with butter was like the most popular choice for all the middle schoolers that would stop by after school to come over this way uh, before they went home. They would get this. It's it's good. 
Um, so what? Ignore what the was... listen, gang. The chat's about to turn on me. Ignore the bacon egg and egg and cheese. Maybe that's not for you. That's fine. I'm telling you, it is a strange combination that works. I mean, I have to mm. take my word for it. But literally every other point I'm making with it, you know, we're on the same page there. So I will say this: it doesn't gross me out. So maybe. So does it belong with the cinnamon raisin bacon, which does gross me out? I mean, and the reason that pumpkin isn't in it is because it grosses you out, even though I, I think it's not like great, but I th- I'd rather have that than the cho- than the chocolate chip. So what I would say with the peanut butter, I would probably like it. And again, we're comparing this to bagels. Like for me, this is the, the bagel ranking. And just because I put something in like the below average list doesn't mean I hate it. Just like, yeah. you know, I put uh, I put blueberries in the below average list. I don't hate a blueberry bagel. Mm-hmm. I But so it's, it's it's not in that area where it grosses me out. Like, I wish there was something below bin it. I wish there was like burn it for, for cinnamon raisin bagels. Yeah. <laughs> but, so it wouldn't, it wouldn't be down. It wouldn't be down there. But like, I, I really could. So, you know what? You know, here's the thing. OK, I'd rather have it than the, than the rainbow bagel. Okay, good. That's <laughs> so good. maybe I'm not okay. I could concede to put it in. I'm not hungry. So you would put it there. Um, I would. Hold on. Et and Shine Girl says chocolate chips and jalapeno cream cheese. I think she's joking. I think she's trolling your uh, your bacon egg and cheese on a well, uh, chocolate chip bagel. Allow thing. me. Allow me to shout out Marcus who. When I'm on the same page as Marcus, it makes me worried a little bit because Marcus has had some hot takes before, including Marcus did not rate bagels and had his mind changed. Marcus hit me with a $10 donation to say, I support Avengers eating. Praise be the bacon, egg, and cheese on chocolate chip. I am telling you, gang, it is not as bad as it sounds. Trust me. Trust me. It's good. Um, You don't have to have it. It's fine. I'll have it. I'll eat them all. It's good. We're fine. Marcus, thank you so much for the donation. You have to do that, or I appreciate you all the same. And I'm happy that you've changed your mind on the uh, on the bagels. I'm glad you've changed your mind for the better. Get your less than twos in for Marcus in the chat, please, and thank you. Okay. With all that being said, Jordan, you're willing to put it above Rainbow to appease me, right? Yeah. Um, I would put this. This would have gone in the bagel territory, so I'm going to average you out higher with your positioning. So if I put it in the bagel, you're putting it down there. It'll bring us to like above jalapeno, probably. It's above weird. jalapeno on the edge below mar- marble rye. Yeah, I'll I'll, I'll I gotta negotiate a little bit. Okay, I was well, gonna say if we were if we were you know if we were gonna negotiate here, I was gonna say above uh, the salt and below pumpernickel. So why don't we like why don't we pull a nap here? Meet me in the middle. Put okay. it between jalapeno and pumpernickel. I'm fine with that. I'll take it. Okay. That works. It balances out. Um, oh, you put it above jalapeno. There we go. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Okay. So that's where we're going with that. We have three left. Honestly, we don't even need to nominate anymore. These are all very similar ones. I want to go with the one that's the... Well, you still got it above above jalapeno. No, I moved it. Oh, uh, yeah. That's yeah you're on a bit of a delay with the streak. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, so... I think I want to go with, let's talk about uh, what we got over here. We got whole wheat, we got plain, we've got sesame. These oh, are all very similar. So I think we don't even need to nominate anymore. We can just go in a line um, and we can talk about, let's talk about the, um, let's talk about plain first. Because I think whole wheat and sesame are a little bit closer depending where you're getting them from. So let's talk about plain first. This is basic as all hell. This is yeah. basic. So yeah. obviously... At the very least, it's just round dough. At the very least, I don't think I can see it going below because um, you can't be offended at a plain bagel. Like, unless you're like, where's the seasoning? That's mm-hmm. offensive. That's fine. But then you've got, you know, you've got cream cheese. You've got fillings. You can make it not be unseasoned trash. So that's good. I think that for me, ultimately, I needed this to come last, which I'm happy because we can look at the board and be like, where at what point am I going to stop and be like I would rather that bagel than the plain bagel, right? So I think that I would I'd be more likely to get a plain bagel, a hot plain bagel over pumpernickel, over salt, over whatever is behind salt, which I do not remember. Egg, yeah, I would take That's a plain before egg. egg. Yeah, yeah. And Same. then 
Um, if I'm having a sweet tooth moment, I would go for the chocolate, but I would honestly take this over all of the things in the round dough section. So because you could do so many things with it, where would you be with this? I'm we, I, I, our last bag of the chocolate was our biggest disagreement. I think this is where we're in the, uh, the, the biggest agreement. I was also going to say top of the it's round dough category. I, I yeah. do. Again, I, I'm just imagining my, uh, my post uh, Yom Kippur uh, break the fast meal. And if there's only two bagels left, one is a marble rye, one is a plain. I'm probably going with the plain because it's more versatile. Yeah. Uh, there's, I'm sure there's going to be leftover toppings on the table that I could put on it to make it not so basic. Uh, but yeah, that's where I'm putting it, top of the so this round. So then I would like to propose a thing because X knows nothing said something that I agree with and you agree with. We would take it over anything in the third tier. Does that at least reward it? Let's let it be the worst of the second tier. In the because it's quintessential, it will not stand alone, um, but it's a good time. No, because I don't think it. I I, I I think you're getting. I think you're got you're you're getting thrown off by the by the uh, names of the categories. I think if you look at them as categories, to me, it doesn't belong in the same tier as like a sesame or even this Asiago cheese, which I've never had, which I think I'm going to try the next time I go to a bagel place. Yeah, and then onion and garlic, like these are, you know, to me a tier above a plain bagel. But I think plain bagel belongs in this middle as like the king of the middle category. But the plain bagel had to walk for Asiago to run, for everything to do the dance, for the garlic to hit the woe, for the onion to dab, for the poppy seed to exist. The plain bagel had to come first to make that happen. That's why I want to reward it and recognize it as, hey, you've created greatness, but we will not forget where we came from. You are our origin story. That's why I think it belongs in the second tier. Um, so I think I, that, yes, there are better versions of it, but that's the first. That's the OG. So, I love it. I love that that take, but I still disagree with that You take. are such a dick. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> We're not. This is like a one-tier movement. Let's go with the chat. Chat, you have 10 seconds. With counting a delay, you get 10 seconds. Yes or no. Actually, no. Second tier or third tier? Just say two or three. Where does it? Do you want it to go? We will put it there. That's the chat giving us this, and then we will move on to the next one. So, and I implore the chat: don't pay attention to the category names. Just pay attention the to the other bagels. Pay attention to the other bagels that are in there. Where just is it the belong? numbers? We've got three twos, four twos, right, the, five. Twos. The chat. The chat's wrong. The Six chat's twos. wrong. But I guess it's going in in two because, as I said, I'm a man of the people. I believe in democracy. But if it's we don't always get the best options from democracy. So, okay, we got outvoted. I got outvoted. You put, it in, put it in two at the bottom. It doesn't belong there, but that's what the chat wants. It's fine. <laughs> Dino's saying it's literally round dough. I mean, that's the argument I made that it can't go below that. But I want to pay it the respect it deserves to, like, be recognized as you were, you were the exact. Mel says it should be four. Come on. Come. Okay. Well, the, the chat wins. I win. It's the worst of the second tier. Um, and that's just simply where it's going today for all the I mean, things that went wrong. It's it's a very important groundbreaking bagel. Probably, I would assume, the first bagel was a plain bagel. But does first mean best? Right. No? Well, here's the thing, Jordan. We just yeah. went through all this. I might argue the next one we're talking about might be exactly what we just described, but better version of, and that's the sesame bagel. But um, why is the sesame bagel the same? To me, the sesame bagel is more like a uh, a poppy, an onion, a garlic, because it's one of the members of the everything family. Um, and it's so, like a plain bagel, but it has a little bit extra flavor. To me, that belongs at, well, now not at the bottom of, of two, because I think it's going to, I think it should be between sesame and plain, but I still think it's a, it's a tier above plain. Right. So, and I think that's why, that's where maybe it gets bumped back down to three. Cause like when you, like when you walked into our bagel place, the, the sesame to other bagels ratio was like a four, five, six to one. We carried more sesame. That's, that has become the standard. That's the new normal of mm -hmm. this is the original bagel. Like I feel like plain gets forgotten because of the sesame. Now, yeah. the only argument I will make is that on an overall trip, some people don't fuck with sesame. Some people are allergic to sesame. Some people don't like sesame. And mm -hmm. sesame can ruin the experience. That's why plain exists. 
So if anything, I think they're in the same spot of they're in the bottom of the second tier. Then it's just a matter of would you personally prefer it over the plane? And I'm hearing you would. I, I would rather have a sesame bagel than the plane. To me, it's closer to poppy than it is to plane. And honestly, I think it's closer to any of the other four in the I second would have tier it than, above, it, than it is to plane. So here's the thing. I would have it above poppy maybe. I wouldn't. So as a flavor on its own, I love sesame and I, I prefer, like I have a thing of sesame seeds in my house. I cook with sesame seeds. I make sesame sauce mm -hmm. and I really love it. But on a bagel, for whatever reason, I prefer poppy. Uh, so I would put it between sesame and every, uh, sorry, between poppy and everything. But again, I just think this, this is more evidence that I think that the plane is in the wrong spot. Listen, the plane and the sesame are pretty much the same. Um, how, how, how? It's seeds. It's seeds. But like <laughs> when the thing is, you you really, truly cannot fuck up a plain bagel. Whereas with no. sesame, if the sesame, if it's in there too long and the seeds are burnt, don't like that. If both seeds and the bagel are burnt, don't like that. Um, it can be overwhelming. Too much sesame. That's not great. It can be too little sesame. Not great. There are many ways you can fuck up a sesame bagel. Whereas the plain bagel, the worst you can do is burn it. And like that, every other bagel has the same problem. But then it's just un inoffensive and it'll always get picked. Like if you don't like any of the flavors available, you'll be like, fuck it. Let me get a plain bagel with cream cheese. Like you can mm -hmm. definitely default to that. And I think for that reason alone, it has an argument to be in the second tier. I mean... I get that, I, yeah. but I, I do think that sesame. I, I don't. I don't agree with it. I get it. I get it. <laughs> but I do think that sesame is out of the five ingredients on an everything bagel. I think it's the fourth best. I do think it's better than a plain bagel. And again, I think it's more similar to like poppy than it is than it is to plain because they're just both components of everything. Um, and you know, it also it also gives a texture. And while sesame. For whatever reason, I don't like it as much on a bagel as I do in, in other foods by itself. Um, I, I still think it's like upper echelon bagel. So I, I wouldn't say the same thing about yeah. plain. Even though a, a great plain bagel, you know, you take it right out of the oven, you eat it. Um, but then I'm wondering, where are my seeds? Yeah. <laughs> I think, um, well, what's it called? Um, so the chat's asking for the sun-dried tomato. I've never had a sun-dried tomato. That's I'm not why a fan I of sun-dried sun tomatoes. I didn't have it on my list. And Jordan didn't, so it made it easy not to put it because I've never had it. Um, to quickly talk about it, I think I would enjoy it if I had it. Because like, I, I think it would be like, you know, I do like regular, I like fresh tomato on a bagel. Mm -hmm. um, so I guess it's a similar concept. I've just never been a big fan of sun-dried tomatoes. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I've been it, um, but it would probably be the second to lowest. It would either be second to lowest or bin it for me. I'm not sure. Again, I've never had it, so, I'd, ha I have so it, I'd have to taste it. Yeah, that's when I can give the definitive ranking. And then Last but not least, it's a kind of boring note to go out on for the last one, but it's the whole wheat bagel. Mm -hmm. And Jordan, this is okay, really, if to sum it up quickly, this is fine. I would have this if it's there, but I'm not going to have it. Like more often than not, I'm not going to grab it, but I will take yeah. this over almost any of the two bottom tiers anyways. And it's just a basic ass bagel that's a healthier version. Yeah, I mean, I, I agree with that. I mean, it's kind of similar to Muselix, where I think it's probably the same, or, or at least if you're going based on a, like an oat brand bagel, I think it's usually whole wheat dough, so it's similar to Muselix. I like the little extra texture and flavor of, of the oats, so i put, probably put it below Muselix above Blueberry. Below Muselix above Blueberry. Oh, you so you put it in the I'm Not Hungry. You would just say, like, no thanks if um... – they had if they had the six options i mean again the, the i'm not hungry bagels are all bagels that i would eat it's just like you would ra you'd I'm, like, think, I'm thinking it i'm thinking more, it more, more is like more about like four out of five okay. as opposed to like i'm not hungry i wouldn't eat it i would eat all of those bagels maybe maybe not the, the rainbow i don't know yeah okay okay <laughs> i'm so, starting to think that rainbow might, might maybe should be in the bin <laughs> so i would maybe but i would rank it a little higher and have it be the worst of the round doughs is where I would put it. Maybe. Um, you know what's funny? What? I think that even though I was very vocal about the plane belonging in three, since I do think the plane belongs in three, 
Mm -hmm. I don't I don't think the whole wheat belongs in three because in my mind, my mind looks different than that list right now. In my mind, the plain bagel is a is a tier three bagel. And I don't think I could put whole wheat in the same tier as the plain. So I would put it second like below like worse than Muslix, but yeah. better than blueberry in, in uh, you know tier what? Four. I'm gonna Dev has been a uh, dedicated supporter of my stream and is always here, always hanging out, and been like the sole <laughs> The sole person supporting Blueberry. So I'm going to do this. I'm mm -hmm. going to put it third. I'm going to put it third. And I'm going to honor you by giving you this fourth tier. Even though I don't think it should be here. That's okay. what we're going to do. This you is know what's interesting? And yeah. I'll, I'll address what Dev said. The fact that you would put this over Blueberry's Insanity. If I'm having this. If I'm just having the bagel with nothing on it. I think I'd rather have the Blueberry than the whole wheat. The That's good fair. thing about the whole wheat. Since it's so neutral. You put toppings on it. You could have like a whole wheat with other seeds on it you could use my little seed collection in, in my uh in, in my fridge don't, with a little every, I say don't that. say seed collection <laughs> don't say seed collection. Yeah, say. <laughs> that is a weird thing to say but i have my little everything seeds i can put it on the whole wheat bagel on the cream cheese and it becomes more of like what i'm looking for for in a, in a bagel but by itself i will give dev that point where i think a blueberry bagel is actually not bad yeah that's fair that's fair um, so yeah, this is the this is the bagel tier we have. This is the last finalized list. Everything bagel number one. We are not shocked by that. We have six bagels in the middle. They're onion, garlic, uh, cheese, poppy, sesame, and plain. The round dough ended up being marble rye, pumpernickel, chocolate chip, jalapeno, salt, and egg? Question mark? Yeah, egg. Yeah. And then Muselix, Blueberry, Whole Wheat, and Rainbow and the I'm Not Hungry. And in the bottom, we have Pumpkin Bagel and Cinnamon Raisin Bagel. Does does Rainbow belong in the bin? I'm starting to wonder. I'm starting to no, wonder. again, it's just <laughs> it's just a plain bagel. And, like, I think it's at least the, the, the attempt to make it look appealing is good enough for it to be there. Because I'll still, like... If I walked in and they had any of the bottom seven bagels, I would pick, sorry, six, I would pick the whole wheat, but I wouldn't be, like, I would deal with it. But if that wasn't there and I walked in, I would just walk out. I'd be like, I'm good. Like, yeah, what is this bagel place that only has, like, the six worst bagels? I mean, I think I'm choosing Muselix. I think actually the list might have those six bagels almost correctly ranked, even though I think that maybe, like... Pumpkin should be a little bit above rainbow, and I don't, I don't know. It's 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 tough. Again, I'm not ordering these bagels. The only time I'm ever having any of those bagels is if I like go to someone's house and they're they have like bad bagel taste, and that's all that mm. that all that they got, or maybe that's yeah. all that left that's left because everyone else had good bagel taste, and I'm late to the party. Yeah. Well, this is why if I ever go to anywhere with bagels, I try to get there early so I can get the everything. <laughs> it's like it's like the turkey legs at Thanksgiving. I need to get, and that's only two. Yeah. That's only two. You try to secure the bag. You got to try to secure. Best time is. Si Why are you laughing? Leon just walked in and laughed at me. Is that a TikTok reference? No, it's not. It's literally language. Leon has been listening to TikTok playlists on Spotify, and it's the most annoying thing ever. Don't out me. I, it's it's too late now. She like shot on me for months for watching TikTok videos, and now listens to TikTok music, and I'm the crazy one. What Can we ask Liana if if a plain no, bagel no, belongs no. in? TikTok's not a bad platform. Invalid. Just say you like TikTok. I like the music. No, say you like TikTok. Whatever. Get over here. <laughs> can, Liana, can Liana hear me right now? Liana can't hear you, no. Oh, well, <laughs> I, I think that I, I, I can't imagine Liana would put plain bagel in, in the same tier Liana, as some you, of these, these great seeded Jordan bagels. Jordan wants me to make this like, so we were talking about the plain bagel, okay? Uh -huh. And we had it initially in the middle of the eh, it's round dough like category mm -hmm. because it's just a plain bagel who's it gonna offend and then i made the argument of we should at least give it bottom of second tier to put some respect on it it literally had to walk for all the other bagels to run it was there it was the original without that we wouldn't have any but so let's tell her what else is in there and... tell her what else tell her what else is in there because i don't think it belongs with so those here's bagels what, what's in there so here's what's in there there's onion garlic um, cheese, poppy seed, sesame seed are like the top five of the second tier. And then plain is in the bottom. He wants plain to be here on top of this, which is like a little bit like just trying to be like specific. But that's what I think is the situation. A plain bagel is the definition. Def, def, 
definition of neutral. It's yeah. the news, yes. right? So should yeah. we go in the middle? It should, I, that's the thing. But we we're giving it honors, and and the chat sided with me on a vote. And I think, I think, you're just trying to get back at me for making you no, tie. Because, well, no, because then it would go to a tie, and then who's the fifth? You need a tiebreaker. Because if so, I side with Jordan, and no, the but do you, come, you come in with your own, like, your full one vote? You should maybe. Well, then you're already outvoted because if I don't even have a full vote, then I can't make it two to two. Assuming I think Leon should get a full vote. On the, I, vote. fine, yeah. fine. Okay, you know what? I'll give you the vote. Your sister's also in the chat, vouching for you to have your own vote. Um, oh no, she's saying boo to my sister. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Oh, <laughs> uh, Liana, are we gonna? We're okay, right? We're cool. We'll chill. We'll chill. Uh, no, Jordan, we're hanging out later, right? <laughs> yeah. Jordan and I are friends. You're not invited. We are. Yeah, TikTok party. Okay, I'm moving it down. What? Whatever. Oh I moved God. it. We're down. gonna have we're gonna have a bagel party, and they're all gonna have okay, seeds look, on them. If you in the chat want something. Yeah, we get it. That's right. Oh my goodness. No, I moved it down. Remember when I said down. I was a man of the? I I might I might uh. For this, okay? I'm, I'm starting to rethink. The table. It's not like I was the deciding vote. What are you saying, Jordan? I'm, I might be starting to rethink my man of the people thing. Maybe I'm not a man of the people. Maybe because I, I care more about putting this in the middle tier than I, than I do about. I mean, I like all the people, but <laughs> I, I'm going to I'm going to renounce my man of the people identity and put it you in tier didn't three. You didn't have it. You were like, I'm man of the people, but you were against the people's opinion. So you, you're already in the in not like, a man of the people. I like the people, just not their opinion on this on this issue. No, no, we changed it. We changed it. It's fine. We changed it. We totally moved the moved the tier. Excellent. I think she left. Okay. So this was fun. He didn't do it. Liana, he didn't do it. I'm going to text Liana. <laughs> She's not going to know. Until after this is done. But no, I had a lot of fun, Jordan. This has been two weeks in the fucking making, but thank you for making it happen. I appreciate you. Um, you might not be a man of the people, but you are a, um, we found out, a seed collector and a bagel connoisseur. Yeah, and this this was a lot of fun. And again, it's no disrespect to the plain bagel. No, I like a plain bagel. If you give me a plain bagel, I'll eat that bagel. But I'm just saying, compared to the other bagels in the tier, I don't think it fits. But this was a lot of fun. I think this was great. And here's my going into this. My main thing was going to be that everything bagel belongs in a, a tier by itself, and it is in a tier by itself. And that's the the best point that we could uh, come out from this uh, this bagel yeah. stream. I feel like that's not a like people should have known. I don't think it was a hot take. I don't think anyone came like that's not going to happen. It happened. Yeah. Um, I love it a lot. So to give quickly to talk to the chat um, before everyone gets out of here, catch me at the round table at 9 p.m. tonight where I can give my ratings on the players in the Big Brother house. So I've canceled the stream for tomorrow. We're not getting a which one Wednesday tomorrow team. And it's what? because um, I am going to be recording the uh, 90 day podcast tomorrow and i'm not going to be able to make time for it um any other time during the day tomorrow so I've, I've removed it for tomorrow but fear not you you see me three times a week typically i'm going to try and make that happen anyways so then we cancel tomorrow that's not happening we move into friday friday we're doing pre friday and it's going to be watching the so you think you can podcast so that's good um a little bit of update i have bought some upgrades for the old setup i've got a second monitor and that's coming in soon i'm gonna have two screens over here it's gonna be fun i got my ethernet cable on the way that's fun i got lighting that's fun we're getting a full upgrade here it should arrive but on saturday i believe but it's not confirmed yet so it might arrive sooner might arrive later might not even get it this week we'll see but there are moves being made to make sure that this stream becomes the best stream it can be um and i'm just appreciative that you've been sticking around here in the midst of all this Big Brother stuff, in the midst of all the content, for you to come and consume this content. I appreciate that a lot. And, of course, as always, stay hydrated, have fun, do your own thing, and I will catch you real soon. Adios.